So the patient scenario is of a 63-year-old Caucasian woman who presents with an 11 centimeter uterine lyoma sarcoma and unfortunately at the time of presentation also had peritoneum and lung involvement. The patient was relatively fit with a performance status of one. So when we look at soft tissue sarcomas and specifically here uterine lyoma sarcoma, one has to question what are her risk factors and why did this patient develop metastatic disease versus other patients who maybe present with localized disease without metastatic disease. So when we start to look at risk factors for metastatic disease, it is based on the histology of the tumor, it's based on the location of the tumor, the size of the tumor, and the grade of the tumor, as well as the patient age. Uh, when we start to look at prognosis for patients, and that traditionally is one of the questions they'll ask in an initial consultation, um, the prognosis for metastatic disease is quoted at um, about 16 to 18 months. The average patient will live that long with half of them living beyond that and half of them living less than that. So for this patient in particular who has metastatic disease, given the extent of her disease and the number of organs involved as well as the extent of involvement, we are not necessarily looking to cure this patient. What we're looking to do is we're looking to stabilize the disease, perhaps shrink the disease, and allow the patient to maintain a quality of life as well as longevity of life. And so what you're trying to do is somehow mold the disease a little bit so that it becomes a chronic disease. It is something that she will always have with her, but maybe it's not something that will shorten her life expectancy if she's one of those that does better than the rest.